Welcome everybody. Thanks for clicking on my video. This is actually going to be a Bitcoin video and specifically a tutorial. I'm going to show you how to take advantage of the new technology regarding ordinal inscriptions. And I'll show you how to actually inscribe a Satoshi. There will be lots of links as I navigate different websites. I'll make sure I link those down below for your convenience in case you want to do the process yourself. And I'll also link down below a video that I made recently all about ordinals, what they are, how they compare to Ethereum NFTs. So like I said, it'll be a tutorial, a nice educational video. So make sure you take some notes, leave me comments down below if you have any. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, you get something out of it, please like, share, subscribe. It really helps me out. Let's, uh, let's get started. Before we get to the good stuff and I go through the tutorial, I have to say the thing, you know, the thing that all the crypto people on YouTube have to say, and that is that this video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. The, uh, I don't know if ordinal inscriptions are valuable. I'm just doing this tutorial to help people that may want to do it themselves. And just to give you an idea, what I'm going to be doing is I'll, I'm going to be inscribing a monkey picture onto the Bitcoin blockchain forever. So that's the level of degen of this video. Make your own decisions, take your own risk and do your own research. It's the most important thing. Now, on to the tutorial. This is step one. You need a wallet. And I chose the Hyro wallet. There are other wallets. This is wallet.hyro.so. This is actually the Stacks wallet. And um, there are two different versions of this wallet. There's the browser extension, and then there's the, um, the desktop download. You have to use the browser version. So when you click install, you'll choose browser extension and install to the browser. Something you need to know is that you have to create the wallet from scratch. You can't just connect your ledger. Uh, it looks like ledger functionality um, is not up to par with the recent ordinals development. So make a new wallet, secure the seed words. If you've never made a wallet before, I strongly suggest you do some research about that, but you start your new wallet and then you end up with a Hyrule wallet that supports stacks and Bitcoin, including ordinals. Let me show you what that looks like. Here's my wallet. Here's the ordinal inscription that I did pick up late at night. Uh, you're not going to actually see me get this one in the video. I just did a test run and uh, you'll see why later, but you could see Bitcoin stacks. And um, yeah, it looks like pretty much any other wallet. I could send tokens. I get to choose the asset. I could receive tokens. I get to choose the asset. We'll get more into the wallet. For now, let's go to the NFT collection that I did inscribe. Here's Bitcoin apes and man, oh man, it's an ugly ape collection, which is what Ethereum will be known for a hundred years from now, it looks like. And you'll notice that some of these images are brightened. Some of them are dim. The dim ones have already been inscribed. Some of them have actually been inscribed twice. And you could see, oh, lucky shot right there. This one's been inscribed twice. It was inscribed on March 19th at 842 and then at 849. Don't know if it was the same person that made a mistake or if someone's transactions beat another person's transaction. Um, actually, it says this has been inscribed three times. So I don't know. Maybe they just like this one. Um, I tried to pick one that wasn't already inscribed and I just prayed that my transaction got through. And it did. It was really quick. Um, it was not this one. It was number 325. But you can see most of this has already been inscribed. You can do what I'm about to do with any image. I just happen to want one from this collection, right? So basically what's happening is NFT collections, especially Ethereum collections, are being quote unquote minted on the Bitcoin blockchain via this ordinals protocol. Now, they're not quite the same as NFTs. Because like I said, you can mint the same one or inscribe the same one more than once. But you basically pick one and I'll pick this one. Actually, I'm going to pick one from the end of the collection. I guess it doesn't matter. These are all ugly. I do not like monkey pictures, but you know, got to go with the flow sometimes. Here's my guy right here. Has not yet been inscribed. What you do is you go to the actual source where the image is being hosted. 
This opens up IPFS. Here's my image. You literally right click save. Real, real sophisticated stuff. I know. People that are Ethereum maxis are probably uh, stabbing scissors in their ears and eyes right now watching this, but this is what you do. So you right click save it. It goes down to my browser down here. On to the next step. Here's ordinalsbot.com. This is one of the many tools you could use to inscribe. Um, there are many others, and I'll show you a couple at the end of the video, including a Cosmos collection that uh, is very popular being uh, done on Gamma. But basically brings you to this page. First thing you want to do is uncheck this optimized image box, and then you just drag or upload your image in there. Now, this is where I would put my Bitcoin address from my Hyro wallet. You can't use a regular Bitcoin address. Uh, but down here, you could see how much it actually costs. Because there's data associated with this, this is much more expensive than sending uh, Bitcoin back and forth wallet to wallet. This does take up space on the Bitcoin blockchain. So kind of similar to Ethereum gas wars, this is going to drive up the price of the transaction. If I choose the economy version, it's around half. And yeah, you could see 141. In the middle of the night, I actually did the normal one and I was able to get it for like 155 bucks. I sent it. That's the ordinal inscription that you see in my wallet. This one right here. But you're doing this for the first time. You're going to want to add new. And then you copy this address. This is a Bitcoin address that is a little bit different than an, a normal Bitcoin address. You copy it here. And then you would... And then you would paste it here. So let's just say I'm going to do this. You could scan this QR code and send the payment, right? It's uh, 0 0.01 something, something, something BTC. You can do that. The payment can come from a different wallet than where your ordinal is going to be sent. Or what I did, I just sent it from Coinbase. I had some USD on there. I swapped it for the exact amount, the exact Satoshi amount. I sent it. Took a few minutes to clear Coinbase. A lot, a lot slower than a wallet, but it still was like 10, 12 minutes, something like that. And then almost instantly, um, my my ordinal was inscribed, or should I say my Satoshi was inscribed. So again, just to review, step one, you get the wallet. Step two, you actually have to get the image. You could source it from an NFT collection like this, or it could be any image. It could actually be any file type, right? It could be a PDF, could be anything. Then I go to ordinalsbot.com and take care of payment at the end, right? Ordinalsbot.com makes me upload the image and then pay. So that's the process. Let me just show you a couple of other tools that you can use if you're interested. Here's Gamma. Gamma is very similar to Ordinals Bot. I didn't use this one only because they automatically um optimize the image for you and this does affect the resolution but it really affects the cost so you could get a um inscription for a fraction of what i would have paid had i sent through that other bitcoin transaction earlier for the 300 dollars. right this might be you know a tenth of the price and you could see here's a collection here not for sale not for sale this is a women from cosmos collection from uh stargaze blockchain this is maria's art I'm actually going to send her my um, my ordinals address so I can get my inscription. If you have five of these, you can get one inscribed in her Discord. I could link that Discord down below if you're a Cosmos person. Here's magiceden.io slash ordinals. You could see I'm on the Bitcoin page here, and this is where you could actually transact right a bunch of different collections here and um uh, let's click one bitcoin bandits this is a t terrible collection but <laughs> um it looks like a marketplace and it is a marketplace the only thing that's weird is that you pay in bitcoin you pay in bitcoin so yeah you would just click the nft connect your wallet 
here are the choices. I have the Hyrule wallet, so let's connect. And gives me, there's a pop-up. It's asking me to uh, connect my account. And then down here I can buy. So don't have the funds. But yeah, simple as that. Magic Eden, one of the smoothest, if not the smoothest NFT marketplace that exists. Now they're dealing in ordinals. And here's ordswap.io. This was the first marketplace I had heard of. And it looks like it's got some of the uh, the earlier ordinal inscription collections here. And yeah, there's this one. This one looks like the art is absolutely stellar. Um, Pablo Picasso would be jealous here. And, you know, a bunch of randoms that I don't know. A couple of memes. I'm sure that's really what Satoshi had in mind when he conceived the Bitcoin bl blockchain as a peer-to-peer -peer permissionless network just send these things over my network for $300. But this is just one use case of the tech. I talk about other use cases down below in that link to my original ordinal video. Hopefully this tutorial helped you. Like I said, if you want to support me, all you have to do is like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel. Really, really helps me out. I appreciate you watching it until the end. And I'm sure I'll have more of these videos in the future. So set the alert bell when I upload something, you know, twice a week, no, not every day. You could see what I've got cooking and check out the most recent content that I've made. Thanks. Good luck. And, uh, yes, yeah, make some monkey JPEGs, make Satoshi proud.